Techniques for better blending. Hardly anyone talks about it, but everyone would benefit from a clipping border. Blender 2.79 in Cycles Render, you may find yourself with a scene full of complicated materials and maybe you haven't set them up on layers or maybe they're just too disorganized and cluttered on top of each other and you don't have the time to isolate one little piece of one complicated mesh from another piece, but you need the two of them to interact and play nice. Well, you could always go into wireframe to see some of those details, but wireframe is an absolute nightmare, and you could come out into solid mode. You could go into object mode and hide the other piece so that you only have your one piece to work on in small details. But the problem is the details you need to work on have to interact with the piece you've just hidden. So what exactly are you supposed to do? Some people know that when you tab into edit mode and you select a couple of objects here, it will select through a mesh, even though it's not visible. And then you can expand the selection and hit shift H to hide everything that's not selected. And now, the changes I've made in edit mode don't propagate to the stuff that was hidden. Because not only are you hiding it from view, but you're hiding it from all transforms. When I hit Alt-B in object mode or edit mode, it is a combo keystroke that develops a crosshairs. I click and drag and create an area that will show. Now what I can do is tab into edit mode and the same mesh, I can select all of it or use the circle select to just deal with the part that intersects, the detail that I wanted to mess with in the first place. And then I could enable some proportional editing and go ahead and just sort of, what was the uh, bit that I did here? Pull. Because it's not hiding the mesh from the transform, it's only hiding it from view. The proportional editing allows me to affect even the parts I can't see. So I won't be clipping off the transform. I tab back into object mode and the transform I made is still there and the clipping is still there. When I'm through with the clipping, I can hit Alt B again. I will not be given a new option to select a new border. I will simply turn off the clipping that took place the first time. Now you're looking through a camera in another example, and you have a target. Your camera is set up a certain way, and perhaps you have a special camera that needs to change focal length, and you do things, and the way you do things changes the way you see through to a specific part of a mesh that requires a specific set of attention. And when you do something like this, it's very important that you get the right bit of mesh through whatever you're viewing. You can't mess it up or else everything's wrong. Well, Alt-B is perfect for this. Click Alt-B and then get this border right around the keyhole or right around the area that has to be changed for that perfect view. And then suddenly, it's all I can see. These are things we should all know for blending. So blend on and take care.